Okay. Well, as far as I am aware, this is the first live broadcast from a kayak. <laughs> uh, that's kind of cool. Um, anyway, I'm out on the Willamette River. It's a brisk 20 degrees at the moment. Um, at least the last time I checked. Let's see what we got here now. Uh, yeah, 20 degrees. Uh, nice, beautiful, calm water today, though. Um, just gorgeous. We've got uh, the tail end of the incoming tide right now. That definitely makes uh, moving around rivers a lot easier since you're not fighting the full current. Um, that'll change here, oh, what is it, 12, maybe 1 o'clock? I remember what time the, the tide change was. I can check that later. Um, when that tide change, change comes around, it uh, river level drops almost 3 feet. I think they forecasted 2.65 feet. You add that with the uh, the regular current, and this uh, this river can really move. Um, I'm in uh, Milwaukee area, a uh, little place called Elk Rock Island. Um, not much of an island, considering you can walk out onto it. Uh, but from what I understand, if it gets, uh, the water levels come up high enough, you're usually talking, you know, uh, Easter time, that's when we get the good flood, flood levels going. Um, then you can get stuck on the island. Uh, it's a popular place to fish uh, from the bank as well as from the boat. Uh, the river through here, generally the center column moves about 70 feet. But uh, where I'm going at Elk Rock Island, it uh, bottoms out around 120. Uh, it's a beautiful day out here. I did see one other boat uh, today, just as I pulled up. He was uh, heading up river. I don't know how far away he's fishing, but he's not in my spot, so I don't mind that one bit. Now, to keep warm, like I said, it's 20 degrees out here. Um, the water temperature is probably in the mid to lower 40s. Um, to keep warm, i got a good amount of fleece going on right now. I've got a base layer from uh, NS, uh, NRS, rather, North River Supply. It's their Wave Light series. Uh, awesome base layer. They're 100% uh, polyester, which is really good. It's a lot better than cotton, because uh, cotton, well, it doesn't dry quickly, and when it gets wet, it gets cold. Polyester, it gets wet. It dries fairly quickly, but also, when it is wet, it stays warm. Uh, so I've got that base layer going on. Uh, on top of that, I've got more fleece. Uh, I've got uh, some light fleece. It's actually, a, I guess, a track suit. I don't know. Um, then on top of that, uh, like I said, that, that layer is pretty light. On top of that, I've got a heavier layer of fleece. Um, both are just generic fleece outfits. I made sure that they were 100% polyester, and uh, that was good enough for me. On top of that, so I've got my uh, Kokatat dry gear. I'm wearing the Temptus pants and uh, this uh, old Kokatat uh, dry top that uh, I picked up used over at uh, um, Andy and Beck's. No, it wasn't Andy and Beck's. It was Next Adventure. Um, got a screaming deal on it, so couldn't pass it up, but uh, I will be back probably later this winter to buy a new dry top. Uh, this one's just a little bit small when I've got all my fleece layers on. Uh, I'd like to get something a little bit more comfortable. I'll definitely be sticking with Kokatat and uh, getting something a little bit better. Um, I'm also trying out uh, some of the Grabber foot warmers. Uh, they're made to be full insoles for shoes. Um, so far they seem okay, but you know, last week my feet were still warm at this point too. Kind of helps that I'm paddling up the river. Um, that's the nice part with the, the Kokatat Tempest dry pants is uh, they've got full Gore-Tex socks on them too. So I've got my uh, my smart wool socks, then that uh, 
grabber foot warmer. And then I've got my Tempest pants on top of that. Keep the, the foot warmers dry. I don't th figure they work at all when they get wet. And then uh, um, I've got some cheap neoprene booties on top of everything else. Uh, it is a beautiful day. Like I said, it's been cold up here in, in Portland area for the last few days. We haven't gotten above the freezing mark since Monday or Tuesday. Um, it's really cool. Up ahead here, there's a, a seasonal waterfall that just kind of trickles down the side of the cliff where I fish. And uh, I can see that from here, and I can see that it's very well iced over. Um, so, enough about that stuff. Let's talk fishing. Like I said, I'm going to get here uh, scourging fishing. Oh, looks like I do have company at my hole. I uh, got my live or my hole herring, which is the main preferred method that I uh, use for bait. Um, if you've seen my how to rig for sturgeon video, it's all right there. You've already seen it happen. So far, so good. I'm going to sign off at this point, get the phone uh, stored back to waterproof, and get my anchor, get anchored up, get baited up, and uh, start fishing again. I'll see you in a few. Hopefully I can get the uh, first live broadcast of uh, fish, on, fish on a kayak. We'll see you later, guys.